In this video, I'm gonna show you how I design for trends, my thought process, the tags I use, how I upload to Redbubble, all those things, you don't wanna miss it. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts, the channel all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you like to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right here. So a lot of my videos are about trends and that's the first step is to know what trends are trending. Um, but that's not the only thing. After you know what's trending, what phrases to use, what to design for, the next step is to actually design for it. And so I hardly show that part of it. I know it's a two part thing. A lot of you like say, well, I'm doing trends and I don't know what's happening. I'm not getting any sales. Let me show you how I would design for trends and maybe this will help you, you know, get some sales. So I'm gonna show you my thought process, what I do when I find a trend and the next steps that I take to actually getting this trend or my design for this trend onto Redbubble or some other POD site. In this video, I'm gonna specifically design for a Redbubble trend that I posted yesterday, so it's very relevant. You're gonna to wanna to stay till the end of this video so you can see the whole thing. I'm gonna upload it and show you the tags I use on Redbubble as well as what it looks like and some of the settings that I use on Redbubble as well. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to stay till the end for another edition of Trend Credit. So a lot in this video. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you. So the first thing I wanna show you is the idea board. You may have seen it in the video I did yesterday. Uh, and this is an idea board that I made for this trend. So let's look at that right now. So here's one idea board I had. This one is for Pizza Is My Life. It's in the video from yesterday. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link up top here for the video. But what you wanna do or what I do is I brainstorm and I go on Google and I look for different graphics that would relate to this topic. So pizza is my life. What kinds of things do I think about? Well, of course, pizza, you know, heart, maybe someone eating pizza, so those kinds of things. Um, so one of the ideas I have by looking at these things is maybe do a pizza slice, a pepperoni slice pizza, but with a banner and a banner that says pizza is my life. And so I'm gonna check Redbubble right now and see if anybody has done that because I don't wanna do something that somebody else has already done. Um, and let's go over there right now and check Redbubble and see if that's okay. All right, so here I am on Redbubble. Uh, pizza is my life, we did that. Remember that is trending, so you can see here the trend lines. And so we're gonna look at here, and remember these tags, I'm gonna use these later, but these are very important as well. These are tags that Redbubble is suggesting that we use. So let's look for what I said, a pizza slice with a banner. There's one right there, but that says my Valentine, and that's not exactly what I'm gonna do. So that's fine. Pizza is my life. Uh, no, there's a banner, but that's not exactly what I'm gonna do either, so that's fine. So I kind of want to make a banner just with the pizza and so something like this, but the banner across. So I don't have the words outside. I want it to be all contained and I'm thinking about doing a sticker. So I don't want to use words outside. I want it to be something that's all contained and you'll see what I mean. I'm going to sketch it up just a little bit here, but I'm not seeing anything exactly like I'm doing. So that's good. So it's, I don't have the competition here. These are some nice cute ones. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna sketch something out and then I'm show you what I'm thinking about and then go into Affinity Designer and actually do it and show you my process on how I kind of create this design. So here I am on Affinity Designer. You can see here, I just sketched it out on paper. I use pencil and paper, real old school, and then I scan it in and I bring it into here in Affinity Designer. I'll zoom in here so you can see it's just a quick sketch. Look, nothing really fancy. You can see even jagged lines. Uh, so this is not a final thing. This is just to get my idea out. What I want is it all contain, like I said, a pizza slice. And so when somebody puts this on a sticker, there's no like white space in between. It's just one big thing. So I'm primarily doing this for a sticker because I know stickers sell really well on Redbubble. So I'm gonna, just gear this towards a sticker. It could work for a t-shirt as well, but mainly I'm selling it or thinking about it as a sticker. So after I scan it in here, I start to trace 
on it. You can see here, these are just vector lines. I'm using the pen tool right here. Uh, where is it? Right here. And I'm just click and drag, right? So that kind of thing. You can see here, these are all just vectors. Let me delete that one. So you can see here, vector, vector, vector. I'm following pretty close to my sketch. Um, and then I'm gonna bring it over to here just to look at it. Um, I don't like how the banner's going this way and that way. I'm gonna reverse it so you can see here, all I did was take this and flipped it like that. So you can see that's how that happened there. And kind of playing with the shape, you know, moving things around. So this is very rough, what I'm doing here. And then as I go through it, I'm massaging it, right? I'm, I'm moving lines moving things around. So the next thing I do here, now that I like the banner, I like how it's going. The reason why I want it to have curves, so curves give it more interest. So that's why this curve here, that's why the banner isn't just a straight banner. I want it to kind of curve like this. To me, that gives it more interest. So we're curving here and here. And these two kind of follow the same curves. You can see I'm going up and over here, up and over here. So they kind of match. Uh, that too, it kind of draws the eye and gives interest. So that's just some design tricks. Um, and then I'm coloring it. So all you have to do is go in here and fill it with a different color. And of course, pizza crusts are a little darker. We want cheese to be kind of that yellow color. The banner I'm leaving white for now. I might change it later. Uh, you can see I'm putting this behind here, um, just playing around with it. And so the next thing I'm doing is adding pepperoni because pepperoni is kind of the most popular pizza. So it's just circles again. You can see I'm just drawing it in here and coloring it red, kind of that pepperoni color. The next thing I wanna do is type in some text. So right here, pizza is, you can see I'm typing on this text right here. So I, I drew this line and kind of typed it in. And I've shown this before, but you just click on here and you can type in a text Thing. So let me show you what I mean. If I have a path here like this, I can just click on the text tool and it'll turn to that and I can start typing in, right? So that's what I did. I, I made a path on this banner and started typing it in. You can see at the very first, it's not all that great. So this is just to hold it there, trying to get my size right for the, for the font. So I'm just typing it in there so I get the size right for the font. After I'm done with that, I can move it around. So I'm gonna change this text now. So you can move it around by holding down option and um, by holding down option and arrow left, arrow right. That's one way you can do it. Or you can just change it to convert to curves. Once you got it in the right place and the right size, what I like to do is convert to curves and then ungroup it. And now each of these is an object so I can kind of move these around, right? Like that. So that's what I did here is my next step. And I thought I used this color, uh, kind of a lighter color. White is kind of nice. I may go back and change that. But for now, I'm gonna just use this color here, kind of a lighter color, kind of have it all in the same tone here. And another thing I did to have some more interest, instead of just having this dark color, I, I decided to use some lines here just to create that other level of interest. So you can see here, this, these lines are a little thinner. So when you look at it, it looks more hand-drawn. And the other thing I did as well is I took off uh, all these dots on this font. The font I'm using is the Forgen one. Uh, it is right here. Let me show you the Forge, Forgen rough one. I've used it before. It's this nice thin font, but it also has this rough edge. So one of the things I did was I took off all the rough edges. So when it's uh, not a font and it's an object now, I can click on it and it's all these dots. And if I just go down here and delete these dots, you can see right there, they're all gone. So that's what I did because there's not a lot of rough edges on the other ones. So I just did that, I took it out. This M had a lot of roughness, so I took that out of here as well. So there you can see that. And then last thing I did here is convert these outlines to paths. So you can see 
this is an outline or this stroke, I converted it to an edge. So the way you do that is click on the outline, go to level, go to layer, and then expand stroke. So that's what I did there. If you expand stroke, then you can see it's like that. The reason I do that is if I wanna make this bigger now, now that it's all expanded, I can make it huge. So because it's vector, I'm making it this size now. So you can see right there. So this is my final version. It came out pretty good. Uh, it's kind of what I was thinking about, the pizza slice here, the banner going across, kind of wavy to give it some interest. And then I added some of these other colors for interest. You know, white might actually be really good, but I'm going to I'm going to go with this light color. So this is what I ended up with. I'm going to save this as a PNG, export it. To export it from here, what I like to do is select all of it. I do the export command here, PNG, and then I do selection without background like that, and then I export it. And then I export it and call it, you know, pizza is my life or whatever you want to call it and save it to my desktop. So after saving that PNG file, here I am on Redbubble. I uploaded the PNG. You can see this is how it looks. I added the title here. I wanted to make sure that the trend I'm going for is in the title. So pizza is my life. Of course, it matches what's on here. But I also added some other words that I saw here. Pizza is my love. Pizza is my everything. So... I just added it here. You wanna add keywords that are relevant into your title, so that's what I'm doing here. So when people are searching for those other keywords, it pulls up. Also, the tags here are very important. So I'm using about 15 tags here, and the way I got these tags is right here. So I just picked 15 tags that match my design from this list here. And then the description, again, I just wrote a description that had a lot of keywords like love pizza, pepperoni pizza, banner, because I'm using a banner, pizza is my life, you know, perfect gift, those kinds of things. You can use different keywords that you want to use in your description. So that's what I do. Lots of keywords, lots of tags in these title tags and description. The next thing I, is I pick products. So here I'm picking the t-shirts. I do want the sticker here. I think that turned out really great, exactly what I wanted, where the words are inside of the pizza, so it's all one thing instead of outside around here. So turned out great. Uh, phone case works well. Wallets, floor pillows. You can see a whole bunch of products that I think looks good on. And I just turned off or I disabled the ones that I didn't think make sense. A uh, mini skirt with that on didn't work for me. Scarfs didn't work. But a lot of the other things did. The thing I really like are these aprons. This would make a great gift for people who cook pizza at home and want to wear an apron. Pizza is my life. I think that turned out really well. Um, and then this other mask, the fitted mask. I like doing that one. I picked my media types, uh, added to my sticker collection. And my default product is going to be sticker because that's what I designed it for. So a lot of people have been asking me in the comments, what the default product that I use. A lot of times I leave it as optimized if I wanna sell multiple products, but because I designed this one specifically for stickers and then I added it to different products, I wanna make sure that the sticker is the thing that shows. So that's why I chose sticker. Doesn't have mature content. I have the rights to sell it. You saw I just drew it myself, so no problems there. And I'm going to save my work. So after saving your work, you're going to want to do one more thing. Well, a couple of things. You want to make sure that everything's right. Those are all the tags you're using. Take a look at all the products. Make sure that they're done right or they look right to you. And then lastly, whatever you're wanting to promote, you can do it. You can promote your products by clicking these and share it on multiple social media sites if you have all of these, I would suggest sharing on all of them. I think it turned out great. Uh, let me know in the comments how you think this turned out. And if you like these videos on how I show you to design trends, uh, this could be a, a weekly thing, but I just wanted to make sure that I show you, I show you a lot of trend videos, but I don't show you what to do after that. So I wanted to make sure that I showed you a video, you know, what to do after finding a trend. So you can see here, I looked at uh, kind of the competition, kind of sketched out ideas, made it 
in Affinity Designer, picked those colors and then uploaded it and picked my product. So the design is very important. Just think about the audience, think who's looking at it, what they wanna buy. Think about the product as well. So I really thought about the sticker on how the shape would be and what people would like to see on a sticker. So, and, and make sure that nobody else had it as well. So this is my version of Pizza Is My Life. Thanks so much for staying all the way to the end. And your reward is another edition of Trend Credits. Thanks for staying all the way to the end for this Trend Credits. Here is your trend. My essential oil is chloroform. So you can see here, let's look at the BSR, some low ones right now, 138,000, 510,000, uh, 585,000, 226,000. So just a bunch of them. It is trending. Not sure where this is from. Hopefully it's not from a TV show. I checked USPTO and it was not trademark. So you can see here. Uh, let's check Merch Informer. It's getting an A, so you know it's good. Again, I have a link in the description for Merch Informer if you don't have Merch Informer. So let's go back and look. My essential oil is chloroform. Make sure to do it in your own style. Don't copy these. You can see some of these are kind of really similar. Think of different ways you can do this and maybe even different ideas. Maybe we don't have to do chloroform. Maybe my essential oil is something else that's funny. Uh, think of your own thing. That is it for this video. Thanks so much for staying all the way to the end. If this video gave you some value, don't forget to give it a like. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.